India's aircraft carrier Future, British designed and F-35 armed. India's search for a third carrier recently made big news in the United Kingdom when it was announced that Indian Navy officials visited the Rosyth Dockyard in Scotland, where the Royal Navy's HMS Queen Elizabeth carrier was built. Reports have suggested that this delegation was interested in buying plans for the QE as a basis for their third carrier, the Insvishal. But why is India interested in a British design? What planes might it use? Could it lead to an F-35 purchase by India? India's prior experience with the Insvirath, a former Royal Navy aircraft carrier could have lead to their preference for British design. The Insvirath was decommissioned in 2017 after serving the Indian Navy for over 30 years. It was replaced by the Insvikramaditya, a former Russian carrier, but the Insvikramaditya has had significant issues with its power plant and boilers. The Insvikramaditya's issues have proven deadly, with a boiler fire killing an officer on board in April 2019. While the Insvirath also killed one of its officers in a similar fire in 2016, the Insvirath is far older than the Insvikramaditya and served for far longer. The Insvikramaditya has killed three people in the five years she has been in service. This abysmal safety record probably has driven interest in British designs, which are known to be generally safer and feature modern gas turbines in contrast to the Insvirath and Insvikramaditya's boilers. With regard to planes, both the Insvikramaditya and the Insvikrant, India's second carrier, currently undergoing trials, are designed to use MiG-29KS, navalized variants of the MiG-29. However, problems with these aircraft may lead to the procurement of a new carrier-borne aircraft in the near future. The Insvikramaditya, Insvikrant, and the HMS Queen Elizabeth are ski jump carriers which utilize a ramp at the end of the runway to loft aircraft into flight. Conversely, most modern Western naval fighters such as the F-A-18 Hornet and Super Hornet, Rifle M, and F-35C are designed to use a catapult to be launched from the flight deck, which allows them to carry more upon takeoff. While Das Alt says that the Rifle M could easily be adapted to fly from ski jump carriers, India is said to be considering installing a catapult on the Insvishal. Designs were made to fit the second carrier in the Queen Elizabeth class, the HMS Prince of Wales, with a catapult, but were eventually scrapped to reduce cost and maintain compatibility with the HMS Queen Elizabeth. What India will select as a naval fighter comes down to a balance of cost, capability, and whether they plan to install a catapult on their third carrier. They could stick with the MiG-29 for all three carriers, the least capable, but cheapest option. They could adopt the Rifle M, which would be mid-priced and potentially suitable for all three carriers in all configurations if both catapult and ski jump variants were adopted. Or they could attempt to buy the F-35B, which is known to operate off the Queen Elizabeth ski jump. India buying the F-35 could be potentially politically toxic due to America's relationship with Pakistan. However, after India's withdrawal from co-developing the Su-57 jet with Russia, there have been rumbles of F-35 interest within the Indian Air Force. Classified briefings were said to have taken place early in 2018, and Lockheed's pitch of the F-21 jet to India was accompanied by the tagline India's pathway to F-35, though this was quickly redacted. However, as the rifle seems to be the favorite to win India's America 2.0 contract, a possible purchase of the Rifle M seems the most likely if the Indian Navy decides to upgrade their fighter aircraft.